crafty crew today i am back with a crafty haul for you now i have ended up purchasing a few items from four different places so i thought i would combine them into one big haul if you're new to my channel i am julia the tattooed crafter from england and i produce a whole series of kind of memory keeping videos as well as haul videos so then you know some of the items that i'm really loving out there at the moment so if you're interested in what I've purchased recently, then continue watching. Well, to start off with, I ended up purchasing some items from Amazon. These are two of the mini distress storage tins. Now, the main reason for these is you have probably already guessed, I have ended up purchasing just a few of the mini distress inks so i wanted some storage units to put them in so that is why i've purchased these i've ended up having to go with the two mainly because i've bought so many so i need two to store them and i think they're a really really lovely size so they will work perfectly in my alex drawers moving on to the range i ended up going a little stamp crazy um, I ended up purchasing five different stamp sets, which are these ones here. Ta -da! Mainly because of the price, and the other reason is down to the actual patterns that are on there. Because my whole idea from now on is to try and stamp a little bit more and use those stamps as die cuts in my layouts. Mainly because I can't. I find that recently the die cut packs are huge and sometimes I want some tiny little flowers or some like littler embellishments so I thought if I stamp my own then I'll have an endless supply. So these are the ones that I've ended up collecting. I picked mainly florals which are these three here. And then these two in the middle, this one's obviously all to do with cameras. I thought they were really, really cute and I could use them in my traveller's notebook and when I go away on holiday. And this one I purposely picked for when I go away on holiday, mainly because of the two buildings. So I thought when I'm away on holidays, I can grab this stamp set out and I'm able to basically Stamp some buildings I know this is to do with London and if I'm away in Italy <laughs> you know the company the places aren't going to be the same but I just thought it's a nice little illustration apart from these two I won't use any of the others but I thought for two quid it doesn't necessarily worry me too much the reason I bought quite a lot of the flowers is because of the different patterns I like this one because it comes with a full set and then some separate buds I also liked this one because it came with the separate leaves so I can add them whenever I like and this one mainly because of its design so I collected all of those and if they're still in store or online then I will obviously put the links to these in the description box below but these are clear stamps from the craft sensations Sticking with the stamp theme, I ended up going on to Elle's studio, mainly because quite a lot of YouTubers and quite a lot of scrapbook fans basically explained to me that they do the most beautiful stamps for alphabets, which is what I'm still looking out for. Went onto the website, saw some beautiful stamps, and I decided to grab some while I was there. So one of the first items I ended up grabbing was two different patterns of the alpha now I have used this one I couldn't wait <laughs> so I wanted to use this one which you'll see me use in an upcoming traveler's notebook layout these are the Stanley junior alphabet stamp set and obviously you've got the see-through one and the field which I really really like the combination of the two it means that even though they're the same font and the, the same style and size it means that I can mix between the two whenever I like, which is really, really handy. And I love the fact that it comes with some numbers and some of the, what are they called? Punctuation, that's what they're called. Which I really, really liked. So I grabbed those. 
I also grabbed this larger set which was all to do with days of the week mainly because when I'm doing December daily which is soon approaching I want to be able to put the dates down and I thought if I do like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday it kind of keeps me on track rather than like day one, day two I'm never really good with like weeks and things like that now so I've decided to pick up this pack you obviously have the full days of the week and then you also have a shorter version I love the fact that you have today also and then right at the bottom you've got a few other goodies so you've got routine, enjoying, hello, notes from this day all the details and the story of today which I thought was really really nice and for the value of these stamp sets so both Oh, well all three of them I believe that they were really really good value for money so I will link these down in the description box below and if you're looking for a really really nice clean stamp set then I'd highly recommend going to L studio to do so now they don't just do stamps they also do a whole load of different bits and pieces including some stickers and I ended up grabbing the L studio white number and letter sticker pack now there's 300 on here, you're not going to necessarily be able to see them fully so if I try and get them out, you might be able to see them more on the black. I chose these because of their size and their font. Now let me try and get out a letter I don't normally use. So if I go for a Q, it's always the middle bits that are the hardest. So that is the black and then if I try and get the white out for you as well then you can at least see both of them together but I really really liked the font I really really liked the style of them I thought they were really really nice and I thought that the colours because they came in a total range of different colours that that worked out really really nicely so they're the two different colour combinations that I picked for this particular time and again the pricing of them is really really good I wouldn't quibble to be honest obviously you've got to justify postage in a lot of most kind of overseas companies and things like that but for me I thought the alphabet sets were really really good value for money you got 300 you also got a whole ton of different numbers and a few bits of punctuation and uh, the other thing that I liked about them is they came with upper and lower case alphas so you can kind of mix and match as you go along so these probably won't take me long to demolish let's be honest but it will be really really nice to use them and add this to my collection so they are everything from L Studio and then lastly but no means least is a hobby craft haul. Now you guys know that I'm in England, hobby craft is one of our local art stores and I ended up getting a voucher for 15% off mainly because they missed me. <laughs> I shop in there quite often and I think it had been a little while since I hadn't so I had a newsletter come through with a voucher. I'm going to use that voucher so I went in and I ended up getting just a few goodies which I'm really really chuffed that I managed to get especially for the price now my big tip for hobby craft is to definitely check out the clearance section to start off with and that's where the majority of these items I ended up grabbing them from and then I still got 15% off which was our bonus so thank you hobby craft now one of the first things I ended up getting was the Chamel Glitter Girl paper pad. It was in clearance for £4.50 but I got it for £3.82 in the end. And you guys have probably seen the designs that are in here but I thought they were really really cute, really really fun. There are some in there that I probably won't use like the unicorns but you never know there may become a time where I may end up using them so I picked this pack up because of the colors and the brightness so that was that one I also ended up collecting this one which is girl squad I really really love this one this is from pebbles and it's got some glitter well not glitter but gold foiling on the pretty much the majority of the papers which is really really nice 
and again this was meant to be £4.50 and I got it for £3.82 so brilliant whilst in clearance I also ended up picking up some of these alphas so these ended up being two packs from American Crafts I really really love these I find that ones that have already got kind of the words already spelled out really really handy for very quick and handy titles so that's why I picked these up now you've got the American Craft Skylar and the American Craft Goldie really really lovely fonts beautiful words on them this one seems to be more about having a baby so I may not use this one as much on child layouts because I don't have a kid um, but there are certain words that I will definitely be using for other reasons and then you've got a whole set on the back now this one comes with 151 I believe and this one comes with 30 I guess it just depends on price but overall these were both ending up coming out at £3.40 which is a steal for me so I grabbed those while I could also in clearance you guys know how much I love Tim Holtz I don't think there's someone out there who doesn't in one form or another now the washi tapes I have recently purchased a whole pack of them and you will see that in my other haul which I will link in the description box and in the little eye button if you're interested in seeing that one but when I was in the clearance they had some more of his washi tapes on sale <sighs> I was like damn I've got to get these I don't care what the price is I've got to get them now I ended up picking up two because they were the only two left and I had to have them because I ended up paying £4.25 a pack oh, girl when you get them that good you gotta grab them quick I picked up two of his small packs of washi tapes I picked up the passport collection and the correspondence so I will show you those now now the passport one comes with three packs of the washi there are three rolls and they are all obviously to do with travel so you have a map design more like a ticket design and then this one's kind of a full correspondence so like you've got the days of the month and the week it's kind of like a ticket in ticket out sort of theme so that's what I like about those obviously as I said you get three rolls for this one and you get 10 meters on each which is a really really good value for money this one is the correspondence in this one you get four little I was gonna call them stamps then but washi <laughs> washi rolls this one's all to do with correspondence so mail and kind of pen pals and writing back you have kind of it's like that I mean obviously they're all on a vintage style so this one's kind of all to do with mail this one is all to do with airmail, this one's stamps and then this one's just a blue and a red stripe which is really really sweet. But I thought both of them for £4.25 was a steal and I really really like the quality of them. I think they're really really pretty and I'm going to be using them in my traveller's notebooks mainly and I just love, it's just the designs they're just so unique and so sticky as well and I just think the fact that you get 10 meters of each is just brilliant so I absolutely love these I'm gonna have to try and make some more room in my washi tape holder so that's gonna be fun but I ended up picking up these because I thought if I don't then I'm gonna miss out on the chance of getting them for that price so I picked these up and then last but no means least I ended up picking up this Whew. don't quite know what to say for this one but this is the Maggie Holmes carousel foil paper they're a whole series of perforated tickets basically and even though they've got 
kind of sometimes a like a carousel kind of circus vibe which I may not end up always using I just picked up the paper it was £1.70 I thought it worked really really nicely and I love tickets I'm a sucker for tickets and anything vintage and even though these are bright and colourful I thought the tickets would work out lovely because I'm not going to use this as one big sheet I'm going to literally perforate all of these so then when I need a little ticket then I've got one to hand so guys that is the end of this video I really do hope you have enjoyed my haul on an epic level if you're interested in any more of my scrapbooking hauls then stay tuned because I have the most epic crafty Charlie haul coming soon so let me know in the comments below what your favorite product was and I will see you guys very soon take care bye